not the day has started. Here we are, like all of you, hardworking taxpayers. So tax tip for this week, it's interesting. I read an article on Forbes online that the feds, while traveling to Pennsylvania, in and out, noticed this huge mansion and decided to investigate on it. Apparently it's the um, biggest house in Pennsylvania. Uh, Philadelphia, I'm imagining, or could be other big cities, maybe Pittsburgh. Um, and the funny thing is, after they started investigating on it, the end of the story, the conclusion is that this owner, the owner of the property, had was charged with $250 million of tax evasion. And the first thing they did was they got a hold of the secretary slash bookkeeper slash personal assistant who cooperated with the feds, of course. And by doing that, she had less of a penalty or charges against her. And this is a segue into what I want to talk about this week for tax tip is business expenses. And what he was charged against is putting a bunch of personal expenses as business expenses and that is really the bottom line of his chargers he would put uh you know different cars that were not used in business he would put per uh private school tuition of his children as advertisement very crafty among other things and he's in big trouble now so a lot of people ask joe what is deductible what can i deduct on my business and to be brief i just want to mention uh, one part of the regulations that is the beginning of everything as far as being able to deduct business expenses and even the irs and agents when you go in they know this by heart and that statement is that the business expense must be ordinary and necessary so those are the, the two major starting points for business expenses. So basically, it, it's kind of easy to find out if it is deductible or not, if it is a business expense. If you can think that expense is related to your business, for you to run that business, for you to grow that business, it's probably deductible. Uh, the parentheses on that is, depending on what it is, there may be a different way of deducting. For example, fixed assets. Depending on how much you buy, you may be limited on the deduction you get in the current year. So you may not, if you purchase you know, a lot of assets in a year and you are above the limit, and then your next asset, you buy it for $5,000, for example, and you try to deduct it all at once, you, you might not be able to. But that's just you know ex exception to the rule or you know little tricks not not tricks but uh special cases in in deducting expenses business expenses in general will be deductible but you just have special cases like depreciation amortization and stuff like that so that's what you got to do just make sure you save the receipts if you're not sure about an expense talk to your tax advisor just to find out if that is deductible or not and you should be okay so you just got to make sure it is related to your business don't go deducting Publix you know grocery shopping although if you go to Publix and you buy something for your business of course that's deductible but uh, if you're buying groceries for your home or you know trying to deduct your children's private school to your business that's probably not wise so if you have questions just uh, put a comment like us and I'll be checking these likes because otherwise I won't know if people are really uh, taking advantage of these videos and learning something. Okay, so tax wise and have a good day.